Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making moisturizing and conditioning bath truffles. With the upcoming fall season, it's the perfect project and it's an easy DIY skincare project. So we're going to need some wet ingredients and then some dry ingredients. For the wet ingredients, I have this colorant here from Brambleberry, a fragrance oil from a company called Saint Perfic, which is sweet almond and macaron and then we're going to be using an emulsifier i use polysorbate 80 this is an optional but it's very good to have because it makes sure that your oils don't float around in the bathtub the conditioning ingredient that we're going to use is cocoa butter this is how i like to use it it comes in little pellets like this. It's like chocolate makers would use it to make chocolate, actually. It's the very same ingredient. And it's just easier for me to have such small chips, easier to weigh out, easier to handle. But of course, you can get also the big blocks of cocoa butter. So I'm gonna measure out 135 grams of cocoa butter and I'm gonna put it on the double boiler. I like the double boiler very much because I think it is a gentle heating method. But of course you can also use the microwave, just make sure that you use short increments and you check frequently while your cocoa butter is melting down. While your cocoa butter is melting down, we are going to prepare the dry ingredients. And the first one is sodium bicarbonate or baking soda. This is um, the main ingredient in this mixture here. And we need two parts of sodium bicarbonate to one part of citric acid. Our next ingredient is citric acid. Please make sure you get an anhydrous one. As you can see here, this is the um, version that doesn't contain any water and that's good because that way you prevent the bath melt or bath fizzy to fizz before you even use it. So we use 200 grams of sodium bicarbonate. So now logically we are gonna weigh out 100 grams of citric acid. And I'm gonna leave the recipe down in the description box as well in ounces for those who prefer to use the other system. So now what I'm gonna do, I am mixing these two ingredients, the dry ingredients, very well, combine them very well. I like to use a fork. Some people like to put their hands in the mixture, that's totally fine as well. Just make sure you get rid of all the little clumps that will help to make the truffle really smooth and nice. And in the meantime, our cocoa butter is completely melted, as you can see here. So I'm going to add the liquid ingredients or the wet ingredients to the cocoa butter, which is a couple of drops of this La Bombe colorant from Brambleberry. Then I'm gonna add three grams of the fragrance oil. You can use a fragrance oil, the one that you like, of course. And then optional, but um, really I recommend it. It's um, six grams of polysorbate 80. So now you wanna mix the wet ingredients. You can see it um, takes the color of the colorant, very nice pink. If you are using a mica colorant, then just mix your colorant with your dry ingredients. So now the trick is to work really fast while the mixture is still hot. So you want to really mix everything very well together. Make sure you get all the dry ingredients also from the bottom and from the walls of the jug, let's say. Just to make sure that you have a uniform kind of mixture here. It looks a little bit like a cookie, you know, dough. But you don't wanna wait a lot, you just grab your mold. And then what I like to do is just pour the entire mixture on the mold 
it looks a bit um, funny but then you can really spread it out and make sure that you get the entire mixture in every single cavity. Here you can see me filling a similar mold, the same recipe for a donut kind of truffle. And if you're interested to see this video, I will put it in the top right corner. And the only thing left to do now is to wait for a day and come back tomorrow to see how it looks. And this is the next day here. And as you can see, they are completely solid and really rock hard. The cocoa butter really makes the mixture really, really hard. So that's what I like also about it. And cocoa butter is such a nice ingredient in skincare products. It's always a good choice. All right, so we're gonna unmold all of these and then we're gonna see how we proceed to decorate it a little bit. That's also an optional step, but why not? Okay, so I'm going to pour a little bit of white melt and pour. I have some sprinkles that I will flat out on a plate here. And these are just regular sugar sprinkles, the one that you find in the normal store. And then I dip the truffle into the melt and pour soap, you need to be very fast because the soap will dry otherwise or harden. So you want to dip it while it's still hot and you're going to proceed like this until all your truffles are decorated. Cute, right? And there are, of course, a lot of variations how you can do it. Like, for example, these drizzles here that you can see on the other video. Here is how they look once they're all done. And now we're going to add a little bit of glitter. This is a biodegradable glitter from Nurture Soap. Here is another batch that I made with another color and another fragrance. It's also nice, it mimics a little bit of cacao kind of uh, truffle or chocolate truffle or cake. And I used a fragrance oil that I absolutely love from Brambleberry. It's called Almond Biscotti and it really smells like it. So here is how they look when they are unmolded. And now we're gonna decorate this one a little bit differently. In goes the melt and pour. It's just white melt and pour. And then we're gonna take some sprinkles, just very regular sprinkles from the local store. And then again, we're gonna dip the truffle just like so. Sometimes it needs more coats, to, you can see it, you know, so you wanna have a look, depending on how hot your mixture is. Maybe you need to dip it a few times in it until you're happy with the result. And then you just dip it into the sprinkles like so. And then you have another cute version of a truffle as well.
And then I wanted to show you some possibilities, how you can package them. This is just a regular truffle box that I got from a chocolate supplier company. And then I just add a ribbon to it. You know, you do a knot. And here you have a nice gift idea. We're gonna show another example here with the other truffles, also chocolate box. Another ribbon. This one we're gonna attempt to make a bow. And voila, here's another possibility, also a very cute gift. All right, so I hope you really enjoyed this video and I hope to see you around very soon for another one. And in the meantime, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye-bye.